Scientific research and publication are important because they allow scientists to share their findings with their peers and the general public. This allows other researchers to replicate and build upon previous work, leading to a deeper understanding of the natural world and the ability to solve complex problems. Additionally, scientific research and publication are essential for the development of technology, medicine and other fields that rely on the application of scientific knowledge. They also play a vital role in informing public policy decisions and shaping society's understanding of important issues. I've been a founder of research publications for quite some time now and in the course of my exploration, I found out about one such paper in physics that is just 27 words long in length. The paper is titled The Ratio of Proton and Electron Mass, published in the year 1951 by Frederick Lenz. The paper falls under the category of one of the shortest physics papers ever published, as it contains just 27 words, one equation, one number and one reference. The paper talks about the ratio of the mass of a proton to that of an electron that can be expressed by 6 pi to the power 5. Today, the numerical value of the ratio of the mass of a proton to that of an electron is found to be 1836.1526743. The numerical value expressed by 6 pi to the power 5 is accurate for up to 5 significant figures, which is commendable considering the fact that this coincidence was never talked about prior to Lenz's publication. One thing that we must understand in this regard is that this amazing association of the two constant values is merely a coincidence which by the way is also clearly stated by the author of the paper the two values however irrespective of how numerically close they are share no intrinsic relationship whatsoever in this series of research and publication in contemporary academics we'll also discuss one such mathematics paper which is just two words long in length and also a scientific paper that was co-authored by a cat but those papers let's keep them for the next time I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to watch more such videos on physics, mathematics, physics and theology, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.